Hello and welcome as we finish our studies in the book of Jeremiah. This is number 13 in the series and is entitled Lessons from Jeremiah. We've covered much in our studies in this quarter and as we look through we'll see some of the historical sites that we've been to and the conclusions that we've drawn. The problem was that God's people gave up on him. God said, I want you back. I want through Jeremiah to call you to repentance and to come back to me. But sadly, the people did not. And we know the inevitable result. So take a look again and see what lessons you learn from studying in the book of Jeremiah. As we've looked through the history of Jeremiah, we've seen his calling. We've also looked at the way in which he responded to the crisis within and without as he witnessed to those last five kings of Israel. We also have seen the way he rebuked and indicated the coming retribution. And for his pains, he was rewarded with a lot of negative treatment, a lot of punishment. He was put in the stocks. He was beaten. He was thrown into cisterns. He was imprisoned. He had his life threatened and he almost died. And yet, in all of this, he was faithful to God because he knew that this was the important thing that he should be doing. And even though it led to the destruction of Jerusalem, he knew that God still had a plan. He urged them to follow God's plan that they should be taken off into captivity, into exile in Babylon for 70 years, but that they would return. The tragedy is that the people still didn't listen and still did not want to know. And so poor old Jeremiah ends up back in Egypt, still trying to witness to people who really have rejected him and the God that he believed in. This really does show us, as we look at these lessons of Jeremiah and what we can learn from them, that if you have the wrong picture of God, a perverted idea about who he is and his nature, then you will end up as a perverted believer. You will not have a true experience of God and you will not rightly represent him, of course. And it's all too true that those people who ended up in Egypt were very much following their own ways and rejecting the God they should have been serving. So as we think again, let's try and decide where we are and what lies ahead for us. And as we think of the lessons we have learned from reading the book of Jeremiah, we have to think to ourselves, okay, what about us? Where does this all lead us to? For we will all end up here. And what will our lives have meant? And what lessons have we learned through our lives and from reading this book of Jeremiah? As we think again, may God bless us all as we live our lives and as we think of what it really means to know and trust God. And so now, as we close the book, may God bless you as you study.